Okay, here we are back inside Matrix Gold once again. Thanks for tuning in. I hope the videos are helping your designing process. If they are, please tap the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, leave me a comment, and tap on like, share the content, check out the affiliate links below, and uh, buy me a cup of coffee if you want to, and hit that thanks button below the video here. A uh, lot going on. Again, uh, the Mastering Matrix Gold, a smooth transition from Matrix, uh, will begin on January 23rd at 11 o'clock Central Time, I believe, the United States Central Time. I think that's Louisiana time. Uh, it'll be 2 a.m. here in Japan uh, when we get going. Uh, so hopefully that'll help you uh, figure out what time it is where you live. Uh, please, uh, uh, I'll put a link below. Uh, in the description for you to go ahead and register. You'll need to register prior to the event uh, on the 23rd. Uh, you can, uh, basically the first uh, show will be live streamed. Uh, it'll be available to anyone. You don't have to have Matrix Gold. Uh, anybody can attend. All you have to do is register and you'll be sent a link to be able to connect with the show. And we will be going over how uh, to do a lot of different things from the old Matrix programs to uh, the new Matrix Gold program uh, and very in-depth. And actually I've been studying quite a bit here the last several days uh, uh, trying to to uh, figure out what's the best to go about uh, showing you in the first uh, show. Uh, but there's a lot there. And I think uh, if you attend, I think you'll really, uh, if you're fairly new to Matrix Gold, you're making the transition or you're thinking about making the transition, uh, this will really help you out uh, quite a bit, I believe. I, I really honestly do. I'm putting a lot of effort into it and I hope, uh, I hope you can attend the show. I hope I see you there. Leave some comments uh, in the, the stream. And, uh, Look forward to seeing you on the 23rd. Uh, again, the link will be below uh, in for registration, and please register as soon as possible. Uh, let's get going on today's uh, item. Uh, today, what we're going to do is go back to the bezel. We're going to review this a little bit, uh, and we're going to edit it, and we're going to save it to styles, and we're going to decorate it a little bit. Uh, so, uh, Kind of a basic video, but uh, kind of interesting, I think. So hopefully uh, this will help you out. Uh, and if it does, please, uh, you know, leave a, a like and a subscribe. Uh, so let's get going. First thing we need is a gem, of course. So we're going to go in here. And again, we're taking the parametric gem uh, and then putting it on there. That's the only kind you can get, it looks like. Uh, so <laughs> uh, then we'll go to our settings here and we'll just go ahead and click on bezel. Uh, and we'll select our gym and hit enter. And I'll just do uh, very, very small manipulations here uh, just to show what we're going to be doing. So I'm gonna drag this up just a pinch and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, toggle on chamfer over here. Uh, you know, you could toggle this on, have a chamfer, or you can have the roundness, it's either one. Uh, this is, uh, you know, kind of easier, I think, to set uh, very quickly. But if you're doing like a circle set, a gypsy set, maybe the, the round bezel would be fine too. Uh, but this, you can just really uh, get down on it. Uh, and I'm going to drag this out so that it's kind of going just, yeah, kind of just straight up in something like that. And then I'm going to place it right over here so I can kind of see what's going on with it. And again, we're staying with our uh, dynamic commands. And we'll just go over here and I'll just change this profile a little bit. Uh, I'll grab this one here, double click on it uh, so we have something like this. And then I'll, right away, we'll just go to the editor and click on it, right? And we have something like this out here. Right away, I'll go ahead and turn on my snaps and I'll move it over so I can kind of see what's going on over here as I'm working on this, right? Uh, turn on snaps, they're at one. So I'll just snap this into one and you can see it just updated a little bit. And I don't think uh, that's straight, yeah. Okay, so we can do that. All right. And now what I'm going to do is just grab me a circle here. And I'm just going to make a little circle out here. I'm going to grab that circle. I want it down just a little bit. Actually, I'll change it to 0.25 now at this point. And we'll bump it out a little bit. Maybe put it right there. And then I'll uh, take this curve. I'll split it 
with this curve here and hit enter and then i'll uh take this curve and i will split it with this one here and hit enter and we'll just go ahead and get rid of that and get rid of this it's not going to show up over here now because it's not joined together uh, so we'll, let's just do that right now uh, we'll go ahead take it all and we will join it together and you can see the update over here all right so i'm going to really basically make a pendant for this but i want to maybe use this in the future for maybe a ring or earrings uh with it too so i can make it like a earrings pendant uh ring uh and yeah e earrings pendant ring and uh yeah those three will work i guess uh but we're going to go ahead and uh we're going to add a little uh corner on here and we're going to select this one and the first one i'm going to put is kind of up here at the top and then i'm going to select that and just kind of bump it over a little bit and we should see the update over here which we do uh, maybe back just a little yeah just back a little something like that so we got a little uh boat out there uh, and then down here i want to leave a little space because if i put it on a ring it's going to be cut to that ring right so i want to leave a little space down here so i'm just going to grab me another one here and then i'm going to place it maybe right in here and then select it and then drag it out as well so i have something like this right now you can design this however you want uh, of course uh, but i'm going to go ahead and say this is fine for what we're going to be doing for today and so i'm just going to go ahead and click right here and it'll accept this geometry for this bezel right so i have the bezel out here but i want to do some more manipulation to it i can you know it's if it's going to be a pendant i don't need it so low or you know i can drag it up some something like this right where i have a little bit of room for my uh culet there and then when i go over here so let's just say this is good for what i want and i'm going to go ahead and take that right now if i go back to my gym i can right away go and change it to any style of uh item i want so if i want a princess cut it'll go ahead and update so i can really take this one design pendant here and transfer it into many other things right but let's go let's uh cancel that uh let's go back to the round here for a few all right so we'll just stay here for a second i'm just going to go ahead and accept this right so maybe uh you make a pendant for something like this for a customer and uh, you're uh, the owner of the store or somebody else sees oh that's really cool i you know and but they have a emerald cut or something so you can go back there and redo it very quickly uh but what you want to do though uh to save it so you can always go back to use it uh would be go to your bezel and then find your uh go to edit right so that your editor's uh, activated go in here click on those three little dots go to styles uh, and then click on that and then you can go in here and hit uh, save style right and you can give it a name uh, a rounded sharp edge something like that and we can go in here and just save that right so now uh it's it's it'll be in your library so or your styles list so if you ever uh, get another stone out here uh, let's just go ahead and take this and let's go ahead and delete it uh, and then let's go back select it go to our bezel and we can go over here and go to our style sheet style sheet right here uh, and that'll load up and rounded sharp edge right here and i can just double click on that and it automatically populates it out there right uh, so you can make all kind of bezels and be able to update them very quickly but we're going to do a little bit more with this thing uh, we're going to go in and kind of spruce it up a little bit so we'll just go ahead and take this say this is the design we're going to start out with now we'll go into curves and we'll go ahead and extract an iso curve and it placed it out there for us and we want to drop this one just right oh it goes to it changed to the 90 degrees so we'll change it back to the 180 uh, and we'll just kind of place it right there and then hit enter and then i'll right click and we got another one out there and i'll drag this one down here and we'll switch this one to a 182 so it goes all the way around the bezel and i'll maybe snap it 
right in there and then hit enter now i'll go to this one here click on it and then go to my uh solids right and get some beads uh, so we'll put some beads on there uh, and then we'll swing those around something like this here and i want that it's right next to it so that's good that's what i want and i will want to close up that gapping and maybe uh yeah it looks not too bad but let's go ahead and bump those up for sake of video here and then close that gapping a little bit more so we get rid of that little sharp edge there right so we have something like this now which is pretty cool uh and then we'll go ahead and hit enter and now we'll go ahead and take this one and we'll do a rope around the bottom and we'll come over here to our dynamic commands and first thing i want to do is tighten up those turns so turn distance from five down make it a little tighter say and then i'll go ahead and get my thread diameter and then bump it up so it's a little thicker there so now i have something really totally different uh out here right uh so i can go ahead and take that now the really only thing you need to do here is go to settings grab a bell uh and we'll let's see we need to get this set up right uh drag this out and i'll just really quick uh do very very quick manipulation in here uh, just to get a bell out here there's one more thing i'd like to show we'll go over here to go to profiles we'll widen this out a little bit uh we'll make this a little bit larger we don't need it a half millimeter uh and maybe make this a little bit larger we'll go over here go back to our rail and we'll make that open a little bit and maybe make it this part oh, not longer go back to our profiles so this part a little thicker and what we got here uh, that's okay uh, maybe a little bit thicker uh, so something like that we can change the upper profile and the lower profile uh, let's just do something like this and uh, we'll need to go do some manipulation with our jump ring and we'll drag it make that bigger and maybe a little bit thicker. Oop, not that one. Something like that there, right? And then we'll just say, we'll go ahead and take that and we can place that down here uh, and move it in to where we like it. So we have a nice little pendant going on. You don't want to cast the bell with the pendant, of course. Uh, <clears throat> But now we have this, right? But there's still more we can do, right? So I'll just go ahead and take this and we'll just hide it just to get it out of the way. Uh, we can go back to our gym, right? And we can select our gym and we can go in here and change it to a princess cut and boom. Uh, sometimes it'll move the cur excuse me, the curves around. Sometimes they'll just automatically be set up. So now I have another pendant all ready to go. Uh, for the most part or if I wanted to take it and maybe go to an oval uh, boom there you go or we can go to maybe a emerald cut and there you go uh, so we can make one design into several uh, at one time very quickly right uh, so I, I you know hopefully that helps and uh, you can come up with all kinds of really cool designs and uh, you know have a major amount of different kinds of pendants just using your bezel command something like this so hopefully the video will help you in your designing process and please again if it does uh like and subscribe uh and uh, please i i really love to see uh, uh at the the live show on the 23rd at 11 o'clock central time so please uh, register uh thanks for watching good designing and talk to you later